Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumse. In this video, we'll cover top 10 SQL query entry questions. See what happened, okay, we'll be discussing SQL query based entry question. These are very, very important for interview perfect, okay, see? So let us discuss. What's the first one? So if you say what happened, they'll give the query and they will, so in interview, what they'll expect now? They'll give the query and they'll expect what's the exact answer for it, okay, see? So first one is a case statement, okay, so I'm taking the same thing. I'm thinking, okay, see, when this condition matches, when this condition matches, this we need to display like this. When this condition matches, we need to get the output test. Okay. Now tell me anyone, okay, null equal to null. Is it correct? Huh? So remove one thing, one null cannot be equal with another. So this condition says output will be else. So wrong. Okay, see what happened? Okay, remove one thing. So one null cannot be equal with because null is nothing. So when okay, how can you compare null value? We can't able to compare. So the answer is. So it is not, first one is not correct. So the next one is, the, uh, it will go to the wrong. Okay, so else, okay. So when null equal null, is it false? This condition is false or it will be wrong. So answer is wrong. Okay, because one null cannot be equal with another. Okay, so in a similar fashion, this one is very, very important. Case statement. Okay. So in a similar fashion, this is the second question. Second question is that what, okay, decode. Okay, so same case and decode are same conditional statement. Okay. Now see this thing. Okay, we need to check this value if you say remember one thing okay one second these are key value pairs okay decode is a key value okay now first one is matching two it's not correct here. now first one is matching with four it's not correct so so when condition matches it will display it's a key it's a value it's a key it's a value so see what happened if all the conditions say it will go to the else part so answer is six okay one more time okay now first value so we need to compare with the first value okay now it's a key value, okay, two, three, no match, okay. In a similar fashion, compare with, okay, so four, five, it's not, okay. Then what happened, you go to the else part, okay, that is six, okay, so it's a key value, key value, okay. First one is checking with, okay, matching, no match, matching, no match, so it will be like, output will be six, okay. So we'll see like, okay, we'll see this one practical, okay, so, so that we can able to get, okay. This is six, the answer, because no one is matching, so what happened, you go to the six. In a similar fashion, what is the third question? So select a department ID max of salary from employee. Okay, we are using one aggregate function and non-aggregate column. Okay, so it will throw error. Why? Because so see, we should have what when we're using aggregate functions. So all the columns should be in aggregate columns, or remaining columns should be in group by class. Okay, we should use group by department ID. Okay, this is important. Okay, so when you're performing any aggregate columns, so, so suppose like four columns are there, out of four columns. We are putting four columns in aggregate column, there will be no issues. Suppose we put three columns in aggregate column and one column in non-aggregate column, then compulsory that non-aggregate column should be used in group by class. So the answer is group by department ID. We need to, it will throw error. We need to use group by department ID. So fourth one, we'll see what the fourth question. Okay, fourth question is select one from real, select one from real. Okay, this is what? So this is one select statement. This is other select statement. Okay, so units has bits a set operator. Okay, so one will get one. So one, okay, so what happened union, what it will do? It will eliminate duplicate records. See, output will be, so one, one, okay. So union, what it will do? It will eliminate the duplicate records. Output will be only single one. Got the point, huh? So because what union will do? It will club into single data set as well as it will eliminate the duplicate records, okay. So in a similar fashion, what is the fifth question? Select count of star from real, where null equal to null. Okay, again, say null concept. Okay, nulls are very, very important, okay, see? Now what is, is the first question we see what okay null equal null so anybody can able to know? so one null cannot be equal with another null because what so null is no value when no value how can we make it to equal it is not correct so null cannot be equal with another null okay so because this is different and this is so answer will be zero because so there is no condition is not measured so output will be zero okay? because to understand what okay null this null cannot be equal with another null so sixth question is what sub str okay see sub str is nothing but what if i want to extract some part of the string we should go for substring function okay so see what you're expecting fifth okay fifth okay see one two three four and fifth okay now what happened okay like third parameter is option so output will be output will be what output will be learning okay see one more time so what i will clear this result See what happened, okay? I am putting, suppose if I put 5 comma 1, output will be L. Okay, suppose if I put 5 comma 2, output will be L. But if I don't put, if I don't put the third parameters, then option thing. 
So it will extract from starting from fifth position, it will extract all the things. So it will be learning. Okay, so for the point of so in a similar fashion, what is question seven? So in string is nothing but what? It will give the position of a string or character. Okay, and now what's the position of E? You see, one, two, three, four, fifth. So a position will be string. Okay, sixth, fifth one. Okay, substring and in string are very, very important. If I want to extract some part of string, we should go for substring function. Okay, if I want to put, if I want to find the position of string, we should go for in string instead. Okay, see, fifth position. Okay, E is in fifth position. What is question eight? Okay, select SQL from real union, select one from real. Okay, so important question. So see this thing, it will throw error. Why reason is that what? Okay, first one is what? This is the string data type, it's a varchar, and this is the number data. Okay, so rule is that if I want to perform set operator, rule is that, okay, what is the rule? Okay, it should have same data type should be there. Okay, first one is the string, it's a varchar data type, and second one is a number data. It will throw error. Same, okay, so this should have Worker and shall have same data should be there, but what happens a different data? Okay, that's why it will throw error. Okay, so rule is that if I want to perform set operator, that same number of columns and same data type should be there. Okay, this is clear. So this is important. What is the ninth question? Okay, ninth question is that what? So see this thing. Select a replace function. Okay, so whatever see what happen? Okay, I'm putting e. So anybody can able tell what the answer? So see answer is what? Okay. Wherever is there, I am trying to remove this thing. Okay, this is one wrong question. Okay, see what happened. Okay, mm -hmm. instead of E, I am putting yes. Okay, see replace it. So this is not E, this is yes. Wherever yes is there, I am replacing with yes. See what happened? I am removing this thing. Okay, replace what it will suppose if I put something. Okay, instead of yes, if I put X. What happened? X will come. Okay. So instead of instead of putting E, instead of I am not putting anything. Then what happened? It will replace with so S will get replaced. For the point of one more time. One second, let me the result. Okay, it's a, it's a typo. Okay, see, instead of E, I'm putting yes here. Okay, so wherever is there, I'm trying to remove this. Yes, see, X is remote. Okay, this is what the pointer. So, okay, so wherever S is there, I'm trying to remove this. Okay, clear so far. In a similar fashion, what? Okay, select a count of star from real where null is null. Okay, okay, so remember one thing. Null can be extract by null can be compared by see is null concept only. Okay, so if I put equal to null, it won't work. If I put not equal to null, it won't work. Okay, only by see is null only, it will work. So output will be one. Okay, one more time. So see what happened. Null can be compared by using is null concept only. Okay, if you put is null, what happened? It is null is null. It's a true. So null is null. Okay, suppose if I put equal to, it won't work. Only what? Only by using is null only, it will work. Okay, see here is all. So getting the point, sir. So null is null. Okay, we'll see this one in. Practical, okay. See, like a uh, theoretical, we have seen now we will go to the login to Oracle application. We can able to do this. So, see, go back here. So, go to the application, okay. So, these are the questions, okay. Where are the questions? Okay. These are the questions. Copy them and go to the okay, Oracle database. Okay. So, see, this thing will go step by step, okay. Remove all these things, we'll get to know, okay. Now, see this thing, okay. First one, what we're trying to, to say when null equal to null then what happened it's a problem okay so what happened okay now we remember one to okay null can one null cannot be equal with null this is that's why what answer is too much suppose instead of null if i put e is null then what happened tell me output will be problem got the point of problem okay so see if i put equal to so because one null cannot be equal so that's why this condition failed it will go to the else part instead of this one if i put e is then what happened you get the value okay so in a similar fashion take the same thing Okay, try to execute again. Okay. What happen? Okay, one. Okay, suppose if we are confusion, suppose I'll put the same thing. I'll remove this thing. Now I'm putting one comma two. So you get to know. Okay. So one comma two. You should you should practice like this. Okay, three comma four, five comma six. Okay, now what happen? Okay, so this one is matching. Okay, this one is matching with this. So output will be output will what output will be. Two. Okay, suppose if I instead of one, if I put two, three. Now what happened? This three is a key, it's a key, it's a value. So three, three matching out will be four. Okay. Suppose when I put five, five. Now what happened? Five, five matching out will be six. Okay. Suppose when I put fifty, now tell me fifty is matching, so it will go to the else block. Else block is not there, that's why we'll getting null value. Okay. Suppose instead of then if I put hundred, out will be so else brother is hundred. Clear so far like this. Okay. Now we'll go to the next value. Okay, so see this thing what happened. Okay, it will throw 
error see what happened not a single group group function compulsory we should use if i using suppose when i put max of department id there won't be any issues because two columns two grid columns but what happened when i put like this what happened compulsory rule is that what we should go for we should use group by class group by department id so see we'll get no issues without any issues because we say so rule is that what if i perform an aggregate function all the columns in mean aggregate function are remaining columns compulsory to go in group by class okay so in a similar fashion see so it will give one okay it will give one it will give same thing what will you one okay now i'm trying to club okay see what happened union what it do it will club as well as it will remove the duplicates or to one whereas if i put union all it will get to one one two times one is okay got the point uh, union all simply club whereas union what it do it will remove the duplicate class okay now go back here okay so see this thing okay now select count of star okay okay count of star Now where null equal to null, what happened? Tell me just now. We said okay, one null cannot be compared with another null. Okay, it will give. It, suppose if I go back here, now what happened? It will give one record. Now what happened? Now conditions fail. It will give zero record. Okay, what about not equal to not equal to also same thing. Okay, because so it cannot be compared. Only by using is null only it will give one record. Clear us so far? Okay, similarly you will go back. So we'll go back and see this thing. Okay, now what happened? Okay, select. Subject here, okay. Subject here, what suppose I'm putting two comma two. What will come two comma two? Okay, from the second position, let's check two characters. Suppose when I put two comma five, second position, let's check five characters. Suppose when I put like this, what happened? From the second position, it let's check all the characters. Okay, all the characters. Okay. Suppose like select like something like I'm putting Pravin Kumar. What will you? It will be from the second position, let's check all the characters. Suppose we want put some name, we can able put column alias. In a similar fashion, see step by step, we should follow like this. Okay. So go back here. So same equation. Now what I'm trying to say, instinct will give the position of a thing. What happens? See, that will give the position. Suppose if I want to get second thing, then we can able to put one comma two second occurrence. Okay. So suppose I am having suppose like one more e is there. Now what happens? If I want to get third occurrence, we can able to go for three. It will give seven. What the point? Huh? Yes or no? Suppose I put four. There is no. It will give zero. Okay. What the point? Huh? So like this. So substring is to extract some part of string, insert you the position of a string. So in a similar fashion, we'll see the other thing. So it will give SQL, it will give one. Okay. Now what happened? Okay, I'm clubbing by using union, but what happened? It's a error. Reason is that what? Okay, you should have same data type. Okay, same data type. Okay. Suppose we have, suppose we'll put one. Now what happened? It'll give without any issues because it's a string. It's a string. But when I remove this, what happens? Say number. Okay, it's not number. Okay, clear? Like this. Okay. In a similar fashion, we we'll go for other thing. Now what happens? Okay, replace. Okay, wherever is suppose instead of is, I'm putting x. So wherever x is there, I want to replace with x. See what happens? Instead of is, I'm replacing. Suppose I'm putting p. It will replace with p. Okay. Suppose if, suppose we are taking Pravin. Wherever Pravin, wherever p is there, I want to replace with x. So it will give. It will give what? It will give x. Okay, like this way. Okay. So see wherever. Okay, wherever. Suppose wherever e is there, I want to replace with x. So see x. Okay. Suppose when I remove like this, what happens? It will get e will get removed. Okay. This is the question I am asking. So, so similar fashion. Last one. Let's see. So what is this one? Okay. Select count of it will give one record. Okay. Now what's it? Nulls can be compared by using only by using e is null only. It will give conditional bit. Okay. Suppose when I put equal to, it will give zero. If I put not equal, it will give zero. So whatever things now it will give zero only. Only by using is null only it will give. So nulls can be compared by using only by using is null cross. Clear so far? Any doubts as of now? So like this is step by. If you are preparing for internal, these are very very important. Okay. So clear so far? Any doubts as of now? So this is clear. Okay. So like this way you need to prepare. Okay. If you are preparing for internal, compulsory these questions are very very important. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.